save up to $1,720 when you buy or sell through Michael. Good day, everybody. Michael Posnick, Century 21 Northumberland, your high-definition real estate agent here in Prince Edward Island. Today, we're looking at a nice little cottage that's practically brand new that's owned by the developer, master builder, uh, due to lack of use. Uh, as you'll see from the video here, it's just like it was finished yesterday and never lived in. Uh, it is being sold at what I would consider a very, very competitive bargain price. I challenge you to uh, compare it to anything on the island. Uh, at this price, I don't think you're going to find a better value. The views are phenomenal. Uh, panoramic 360 degree water views located on the south shore, warmest waters north of the Carolinas, phenomenal beach. All the information you need is at sunburycove.com, including some pretty spectacular, spectacular aerial photos. The house is over 3,300 square feet approximately, and it has an actual garage that has an office in it that is, can be converted back to a garage, and there's living quarters above the garage. One thing's for sure, you're probably not going to run out of room. The home has a phenomenal kitchen, has incredible ceilings, uh, ceilings that you'd probably only find in homes of 100 years old plus. Uh, it has an indoor barbecue smoke room, so you can barbecue year-round. The windows can be taken out, the screens can be taken out. The house is in the process of having the deck installed. Uh, as we learned from the last video in Maximville, the uh, this is uh, let's build a deck week so uh, that's going to be our our theme this week is looking at houses that don't have decks that are in the process of being built so let's go take a look it looks like we've made great progress here it's like they're almost done what a gorgeous front entrance door So we come in through the front door, we have uh, the stairs and then an entranceway just out there to the left of the kitchen, uh, sort of a living room. This is the room when you immediately walk in to the left. Huge windows. But what I like best are these ceilings. If you can see that okay. This would be the formal dining room. How many houses have a formal dining room now? And some really neat stuff happening with the ceiling in this room as well. An area of most houses that's absolutely ignored when building them. So walking through our kitchen, we have a beautiful little dining nook here. Surrounded by windows in this octagonal room. And we have access through this door to a deck that surrounds the whole room. What a great place for uh, morning coffee. Here's a view from the other side that overlooks an entertainment room. The TV above a propane fireplace. And more windows! If I may extract a comment from the last video, woohoo! That's our barbecue room there. There's even a large pantry right off the kitchen here. This is the other turret that's to the right of the main entrance. This looks out in the driveway in the water. Sorry about the camera changing brightness. That's what happens when you use uh, consumer grade equipment to do a quickie. You have a large laundry room with a sink, a nice big window, stackable washer and dryer with the door that leads out to the garage slash second living unit. Now with the right offer, this fine sailing ship may be included with the house. So this is the upstairs of the other turret, just right of the main entrance overlooking the water. What a great place to do art. Coming up the stairs is this grand foyer, which is just nifty. So this is the sitting room just outside the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Trying not to get myself in that distant mirror. This is the master ensuite. 
complete with a huge walk-in closet and shower. It always seems to me whenever I have a phone call that's in the shower, I'll never miss a phone call again because this has a built-in phone and uh, radio, I think. But this is not the phone headpiece. Do not use this because you get water in your ear. This is a view from the walk-in shower. There's the tub. Of course, beautiful views. One bedroom up to the right or to the east with really exceptional views, including water. This is the other bedroom to the left behind the master. Again with gorgeous uh, tree views. So that's it for 80 Stacy. I really appreciate you watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for up to the second updates. Visit michaelshomes.com. Subscribe to the newsletter for PEI real estate tips, tricks, and traps. Uh, join me on Google, Facebook, LinkedIn. You'll find me. Just type in my name and you'll find me on Google. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and remember to buy it right. So I just have a few thoughts at the end of the video here. I, I do a number of different styles of video. I do the sort of the candid, uh, you know, walk through the house real quick through the front and the back, which, uh, you know, some other agents do in other states and provinces. Uh, I also have what I refer to as the, the professional video. Uh, the professional video takes an awful lot of time and energy and staging and lighting and sound and, and everything else. So it's not as easy to do. I think the end result is probably better, however I'm not really sure if it provides any more information than the candid video, because most of my professional videos just have music behind them. Uh, and there's a couple other styles I use, but those are the main two. My feelings primarily are get the job done and uh, not make a, a career out of it, because if I make a career out of it, there won't be any videos. Producing a video takes an enormous amount of energy, time, equipment. Uh, and everything else. It's not like photos. I can photo most normal homes in a matter of a few minutes and be done with it and upload it in another two. Video can take an entire half day or day by the time you do it right. If you wanted to do it to professional standards it could take weeks or months, you know, if you wanted to choreograph it and script it and everything else. So sometimes you'll see my videos and this is my point. They're not exactly to the level that I want them to be. However, I want to get the product out there. Um, the, the video uh, exercise size I've been doing for the last two or three years has worked out exceptionally well. And it gets the product out there. Hopefully it gives you a better feeling for the properties. And at the end of the day, it is making sales. So uh, any suggestions, email or uh, comment on the bottom of this video. And have a great day. That's my two cents worth for today.